Say hey, hey, welcome back to the wheat field. Grand rising wheat. You look at me, you see your child, you see my needs. I know that you will never leave. I trust you, Father. I believe your promises are yes and action. And I believe. He will do what you say. My trust in his trust will not waver. My victory is guaranteed because you remain the same. No matter what comes your way. Hallelujah, idiot. Oh. Till the night turns to day. Hallelujah, idiot. What is that? Fighting in this daily war, Satan tries to conquer my soul. The battle rages on it. We know that. The promises Ashe Ashe He will do just what he say Cause my trust in him will not waver Stand firm Your victory is guaranteed Cause he will never change No matter what comes your way mm. Praise him anyway Oh Oh Till your night turns to day uh, uh. I praise the source anyway. I say, uh, oh, uh, tell me what? No matter what, no matter what, praise him anyway. Oh, till your night turns to day, I'ma praise anyway. Oh, what do you say? It keeps coming after hit. Try thinking maybe this is it. Got this war going on in my mind, trying to make me think my faith is kind of fiddle. No. Certain days I feel like my faith is running low. But it's a must to see, so I must believe in what I sow. So in tears, what you water will grow. It's all under control. The storm is here, but I'm sleeping on a boat. Whoa. Yes. Everything I went through, I know I will be blessed. <sighs> Source. So we press. Christ brought me out so many times. Watch this. I'm going to say, I stay and believe anyway through the test. Hallelujah. Anyhow. I'm going to praise him. Anyhow. Praise him anyhow, yo. Anyhow, anyhow, anyhow. Yes, love me some Thai tribute, y'all. Love it, love it, love it. Ooh, you don't? I know you do, Source, because we feel it. The spirit of joy said good morning to you. Grand rising. Good day. Yes. Got to get that sip, y'all. Spirit pulled out some cards, some decks. I'm going to have to tell y'all, look, we are praising. We say, hallelujah, anyhow. Praise through the test, no matter what it is. Because you don't get your testimony huh, without the test. That's the root. You know what? Them little fly, fruit fly things get on my nerves. We're going to have to dig into some of them old uh, remedies and Clean them drains out. Again, we, we, we have to clean stuff out. Clean it out. Clean it out. How y'all doing? Welcome to the Wheat Field. This is your girl, Lati. Favorite, claiming it, favorite channeled messenger. Yes. Who do we channel and sit with? Well, the Most High God. Yes, we do. The Most High God is infinite intelligence. Yes, the intelligence that the source used to create all of creation. Yes, like it's grand, you know. Consciousness, yes, the whole consciousness, yeah, that. And the breath, the flow 
of life. Yes, the breath that combines, that animates, that just flows within all of creation. That moving force, yes. Energetic force, yes. Yes, it is here. It is here. And it also resides in you. You can tap into it and it will speak to you as well. Yes, because we know that the kingdom is on the inside of us. And if you tap into the kingdom and take all of this sensory information that this vessel here is receiving and pull it in and run it up the chakras to the Father, up to the heavens, and let them drop that down on into you, and you can use that force to push creation out. Yes, so that's what we do here in this space. And we look at the tears that's in your life. You know, those little things that, you know, the tears, the tests, whatever. You know how you want to claim it. And we look at it and see what's coming at you so you know how to move around you know what i mean so take what resonates leave what doesn't always go back and study to show thyself approved don't take what i say never do i say that never do i tell anybody what to do we can only suggest and recommend you have free will and free choice to move around and that's why we do this so you can know how to move around either you want to move around and leave my space because you're not really feeling it and you already ready to click off but i suggest you don't stay right there Stay. Set for a spell. It always comes together. It do. Father already pulled out a couple of decks. Yes. Did you not, Father? Yes. We're going to pray over the table. Let's just make sure we do that. Thank you so much, Most High God. Yes. For waking us and resurrecting us and giving us the opportunity of the day. We know, just like our song said, no matter what comes our way, hallelujah, Anyhow, and we say hallelujah for the day, for the opportunity, for we know that it is certain we are here to experience, but what we shall experience is truly uncertain. We make plans and we know that the intelligence bakes in certainty with uncertainty and we shall not know and cannot see all which we face, but we do know that with you, we can get through it anyhow okay and we know that you feel us and we know that we are connected to you we know where you are that the kingdom resides within us yes yes and we can go inside the kingdom we take everything inside the kingdom and we give it we sacrifice it we gift it gift it on to you willingly and we receive your grace and mercy, your perfect judgment, your knowledge, and your wisdom back down to us. And we use your animating force, the breath, the force and energetic field of life to push that thing out. All right, let's go. We're going to be mindful today, y'all. That's what Spirit said, yes. Be mindful. Mindful of what, pray tell? that you are a whole piece of consciousness here to potentiate creation itself and that the source, our most high God, I say to that, breathes, lives, and experiences creation himself, itself, through us, the many, the multitude, all of which was made and called and claimed by the most high. Yes. Yes, we do. It does. So we together, as we experience ourselves, you want this? No. As we experience ourselves, we experience the world around us. We experience creation. We experience the source in all of its forms. Do you want this card? We experience the source in all of its forms. Yeah, we do. Everything. And when we are in under the awareness, in the mindset that everything is source and source is everything, then we will see God everywhere. We will see God in all things. And we maybe, maybe, if we can get to the point where we see God in all things, we will know that we are always okay. We are always whole. Do you want this one? I throw cards everywhere, so Spirit says just want that one. Uh, you want another one? Okay. We are always whole and we are always complete. And we are always held within creation. Is this it? We are always in creation. And nothing ever leaves creation. Nothing. Everything stays in existence. Because there is a duality of that. And we talk about duality, yes. We talk about the manifest with the unmanifest the physical and the spiritual. We talk about um, 
the yin and the yang, right? It is the duality. But when we look at the picture of the yin and the yang, we can see that the yin and the yang are both enclosed in a whole circle, right? Like it's the whole that holds all, which is the most high. And then there's the yin and there's the yang, right? So just much like the two of pentacles, right? So two of pentacles represents balance, but we see the two pentacles so far while usually a person is yielding one and one is on the other end, right? But if we could pull back even further, we would see that both of those two pentacles are still held within one big enclosure, creation itself. The balance of polarity is still held in one because polarity itself is needed. Everything has the two poles, north and the south pole, the east and the west is balanced, right? Hot and a cold is balanced. You come to balance with that thing and that's warm, lukewarm most likely, yeah. So how are you balancing polarity? Masculine and feminine, two different poles created at the same time. You don't have one pole without the other pole, beloveds. So when we look at Genesis 1 and 26, where it says that he made us male and female at the same time, we can see how we were made at the same time as opposite ends of the pole, the yin and the yang. And when them two things come to balance with self and merge that energy pulls together, boom! It is showing up bonded because it attracts. And if you ever got a magnet that was that powerful and it pulls together, the ability to pull it apart, baby, <laughs> ain't happening. So what God has put together, let no man put asunder. Right? But are we attracted? Do you want this card? Do you want that? Let no man put a sun. It's just easy. Because when you are in alignment on your own side, balancing your energy, focused, you will go through an attracting process. And you will attract that which is your energetic match. Yeah, did you want that? Are we done with these three? No, there's another one. Um, I'm slowing down so I can feel the cards. Uh, there is an energetic match for you. And that's why in this space I don't do twin flames, I don't do karmic cycles, I don't really, because it's either you are energetically matching and you're vibing or you're not, you know. And to finish your process so that you can get to your energetic match is, uh, did you want this here, my bad spirit? Okay, let me put that back where you put it at, thank you. Are you done? Okay. Okay, move this. Spirit says on today, because our channel song was Ty Trippett, no matter what comes my way, I'm a praise anyway. Ty says hallelujah anyhow. But my spirit is just singing, no matter what comes my way, I'm a praise anyway. Oh, so that's a remix. I don't know. Spirit says, on this day, remember to dance it out. Dance it out. I can move emotions through my body by dancing. Do you have any emotions that you need to process or things that you need to uh, come to balance with in self? Huh? Do you have any of that? Yeah. I can move emotions through my body by dancing. Whenever I start to feel built up energy or crankiness, I play some music and move intuitively. I don't have to look a certain way. Simply move and feel the stress and heaviness begin to ease out of my body. Yes. You ever just threw some music on and just get your dance on and it don't really matter what you looking like. You just get out there and you just start moving around because you need to process that energy. Right? You need to get it out. And I wonder, like, uh... Most tribal and indigenous people definitely have dance as a part of their spiritual connectedness, right? To dance out energy, to dance and to sing and to give uh, that good energy on to source itself and, and, a, and a part of the worship, 
right? Worshiping the Most High God through dance and relieving, you know, tension and emotion through dance is a whole thing. Yeah. So if you feel them like any kind of way, uh, you know how we do. We be in the car on the way to, it's a part of our spirit. Yes, the musicality, the, the, the rhythm, the flow. Sasha, stop before you pull my curtain down. Stop. She got to sit over here every day when I'm chatting. And she got to. She just, It just don't happen. Then she want to mess with all kind of stuff. You know, we, gonna, we, we got a bigger desk on the way. She ain't going to be able to, well, she a cat. She can jump up here, I reckon. I don't know how that's going to help out, but just roll with you, girl. You know, it happens. Okay, so what we know that uh, musicality and, and that rhythmic uh, getting out the energy in that way is a part of us deeply. Like it is built in. We are we we do that, you know. And and if you look at us uh, black Americans, especially in the states here in the U.S., and you look at the dance moves that we do and things that we do, it oftentimes it's very similar to tribal dance moves that, that our ancestors in, back over in the mother country have, down our lineage have been doing for centuries. Yeah, I remember being in, in, in was it elementary or middle school or something like that, and we had an African dance troupe come to our school, and it was like, showing us like how the dances that we were developing and doing and like from a, a hip hop standpoint were things that they did his tribally like that is just a part of the heritage and the culture to dance and practice in in a correlation to spirituality that it was consistent and i thought that that was a beautiful thing and it really was like one of my first inklings into connectivity that we have a conscious mind and we have a, a remembrance of self even if that piece of us has been taken away and, and systematically washed away through colonialism we were not allowed to practice and dance in spirituality the way that we were accustomed to. So for us to have that come out through our natural expression of movement is one of the first things that let me know, even as a babe, we have to be connected. We have to be. Because how can we be over here, having never met them, be doing the same things that they're doing there? There's something in our consciousness, in our mind, that's connecting us to this thing. It must be original or, or you know, originated or, or, or deeply connected and rooted, yes, rooted within us to do this to feel this. There's something speaking to us in this manner that says to move this way. My body, the memory that's stored up in my cells that was passed along to me through my birthing, through my lineage, is there. So that, again, the, the understanding, the basis for collective consciousness and collective ingenuity collective intelligence itself was there yes so if you can think about that beloveds think about how many rhythmic movements that we as many nations of people do that are so very similar how is that be if we don't have that connectivity oh come on with your girl next card is food I eat what fuels me. I eat the best foods accessible to me. Now that's a challenge for us in the Americas. Ha! Huh? We was talking about that with a beloved yesterday, were we not? Yes, that the ability to access nutrient food in the Americas, or probably I would guess across, no, there's places in the globe that we could still grow because it's really not, you know, the land hasn't been, just, you know. We don't follow good planting practices. Of course, you know our indigenous peoples here, our brothers and sisters that was here before uh, their land was tragically taken and they lost it in wars. That uh, how to move your plots. Yeah, like you don't keep planting on the same plot of land consistently for years. You have to move that thing. Why? Because you deplete the soil and now the food that you're growing is not nourishing. 
Now, how have we done that across the globe with this whole uh, industrialized food complex stuff and all this stuff? How nourishing is our food? And then furthermore, are we beloved as black Americans or Americans who are black or African in lineage, lineage on the continent in the U.S. of North America that actually eat what we're supposed to eat? Now, that's the thing. Because uh, we were cultivated in this space, in this land, to eat the remnants of what was left over. And we may do shit. We made soul food. And you talking about a cuisine that, uh, <laughs> come on, we, we know what to do. With the, you, you just because you only need to give me a little bit because I'm a hustler. I, my, 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 I mean, if y'all ain't seen that episode, go on and check it out. Because you know what we do when you give us a little bit of something. We're we going to make it work. Oh, yeah, we do. We're going to make it work. That's what we do. We rise to the top. We rise. Yes, and I rise. Go on, Miss Maya, and I rise. Yes. Andrew Day, and I rise up. Yeah, come on. But we do know that that is not our diet. And it is not necessarily what's good for the operation system of this vessel. So, considering that most of the foods is killing us, that we've been eating for centuries. It's killing us. It is. It could be a time for a, you know, recommendation for us to start thinking about the, the things that are natural to us to eat. Like what is good for our vessel. And especially in this world of connectivity, like we are able to come back together and connect. Like this here informational highway thing right here that's been around for like decades now that allows us to touch base with each other. To find out. You ain't got to go through that whole 23andMe thing if you got the thing about your DNA because they got that shit anyway. I mean, if you've been to the doctor and got shot and blood drawn, trust me, they got your shit on, on profile. You can hang that up, okay? So it's really, you don't have to do that. I'm not suggesting anybody go down through there. But what I am saying is that we can look back at our mother country and look and see what we are supposed to be eating. What are the foods that are grown there? What are the foods that are natural to us? Yes, it's things that you may not have even heard of, but when you smell it, whoo, because that smell and that taste is connected. You smell it. What the hell is that? My soul just woke up and said, wait a minute. That sounds like something we should be eating. Because, baby, ha, food right here is good for your soul, I'm telling you. And it feeds your vessel. And it'll give you the nutrients and minerals that you really need so that you can do on about your business. Because remember, your body takes what it needs, the nutrients and minerals, out of the food and put the rest of that shit to waste. So if you ain't eating what's good for your vessel for optimal fuel, then uh, again, suggestion. Do what you will. It's up to you. Loving space. That's what this is. It's a loving space. Come on in. How you doing? We, I love you. I do. I cannot learn other people's lessons for them. I can't. You can't. They must get there themselves at their own time. I just said that. Literally. Not in them exact words, but that's what we said. Father can't make us do nothing. In our own time, on our own journey, will you decide? Well, I decide. Yeah. Decided to get this here because I feel a little dry. I got to tell y'all, this little honey, my fur grandbaby, Sasha, was up at 5 o'clock in the morning playing with something on my hardwood flow up here. Have you ever heard a cat playing with a scrunchie on the flow at 5 o'clock in the morning on a wood flow? She sounded like a whole horse up here. Then I couldn't go back to rest. So I started serving. I've been up serving y'all since 5 o'clock in the morning. It's, I don't know what time it is right now, about 8 on the east coast of the United States, you know. Spirit said the next one we got is nurture. It's okay to want to stay home and be alone. I do. Right now, I've been up since 5. I want to call my boss and tell him. Well, not call, I'm just emailing. You know, I'm tired and I want to go to sleep. 
and I want to nurture myself. I want to go take a hot bath and put some bubbles in there and some and some Epsom salt and I and I want to put uh you know some smell good and some oils a little little oil and smell good up in there and 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 just lay back and relax and just lay there until the water get cold and then I look all like a little prune and all shriveled up and stuff. That's what I want to do. Just nurture me. Get some quiet. Yes. It's okay to want to stay home and be alone. I deserve days to myself. Days to relax and simply be. Woo! Today is not that day because we got all kinds of stuff on the calendar that we got to get done. Now, that's just that. Okay. We're going to put these right there. Is that okay, source? No, it's not. Okay, I'll put it back. Like I you said, thank you very much. And we're going on to the next day. Is this it? Is this the right one? Okay. Well, thank you so much. Thank you guys for hanging in there. So far, if you like this vibe, subscribe. You know, some days it be calm and cool like how it is this morning. You know, with a little bit of, you know, hey, hey, you wake up for the morning. Some days it just be like, you know, we just having a conversation. And some days, you know, we get to cooking like hot grease. You know, we'll be frying. Thank you, Father, for these cards. Please use these cards as a message. I am the willing messenger surrendered onto you to deliver the message unto your we feel. Please use this to do that. Thank you so much. I like to get that energy, that same energy in my hands. Oh, yes. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, like I was saying, I kicked the camera. It's away from me now, so I can't. My legs ain't that long. Um, and then I... Uh, throw cards, cards fly out, they go all over the place. Source fools cards, you know. If I don't say it the right way, source will have me come back and say it or keep saying it until I get it out right. Um, I have to keep going until I get the right card. Sometimes I can't feel it and I have to slow down because I get excited. Yeah, and sometimes, you know, um, source just, you know, wants me to do something in a certain kind of way for a week and, you know, be an example on to others, I reckon. Yeah. As we blow the light, the fresh breath of life on these cars, we thank you so much, Father, for your animated voice. Thank you for being here with us always. Thank you. Thank you, 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 thank you. Thank you. This is one of our cards, priestess. How are you being called to step up and lead? There is somebody in the energetic field that is definitely being called to step up and lead, to step up and speak. I didn't drop the crystal, y'all. Told y'all I dropped stuff everywhere. Um, being called to step up and lead. Somebody is being called to step up and lead. Spirit says that's how I shave to that deck. Just wanted this priestess card, yes. So you may be someone that's being called to step up and lead. And you may be having, again, your energy may be impacting your ability to step out, to do that. How are you handling your energy? How are you transmuting it, expressing it, moving it through your body, processing it, right? I feel processing, moving it, moving it up and moving it out. Breaking it up, getting it up, getting it up, and getting it out, I feel spirit is saying. So do something to change your energy. Again, dance is a great thing. You can turn on any type of music and dance your heart out until your vessel just passes out, right? Until you just pass out. And make sure that you're eating well, beloved. Maybe, again, recommendation into going back into those old ancient foods that are good for us. Spirit is really driving me towards my laptop, like to search, to look up what is good for your body, what's good for your vessel, that food is a thing for you, beloved. Loving space. I cannot learn other people's lessons for them. That is what spirit is saying. And that is for the collective. Yeah. We have to detach from other people's. Okay. Is that collective? This collective? 
so is it the wheat or the heaven? The wheat that we're speaking to, this is the wheat, yes. And who is this? Is this people in their lives, family, friends? Yeah, yeah, family, friends, their space, their community of people. This person, honey, you wheat, beloved, beloved, you need to, you have to correct my error and I recall my words. I recall the power of my words and any error impact that they may have. It is not proper for me to say you can or you must. We can only suggest. Father suggests that you surround yourself with loving people and that coming to the realization that you cannot learn other people's lessons for them is a thing. You must learn your lesson. And as you learn your lesson and you be an example, then you can then guide others. You'll be a light onto them. A light onto them, beloved. Yes. Spirit must really want me to lean into that because Spirit said be an example and a light. You cannot learn other people's lessons for them. And nurture yourself. It's okay to want to stay home sometimes and pull back your energy to just be alone with self and nurture and nourish you. You deserve days to be by yourself, to relax and simply just be. To just be, beloved. It's okay. Yes, I honor how I feel. I honor how I feel. And I take this day to do the things that feel nurturing to me. Huh. Like if I really wanted to, I could cancel my whole calendar and let them know I have not rested, I don't feel well. Even my voice itself could use rest. It's been hoarse for days. I, you know, but we will see if the energy is within me to serve anyway. Because we want to be responsible and ethical and loving in our service. Yes. Or maybe I do need to pull back and reserve my strength so that I may continue to serve. Because there is a thing of pushing thyself too hard and too fast and too far too quick. And you will burn out, beloved. And then you are no good to you or to anyone else that you are attempting to serve. And that could be why changing your energy, coming back to your body, self, food, food as fuel, here, Understanding that you need love and space and being surrounded by loving people and to nurture yourself. All of that is very synchronistic. It's all being mindful about your state as well while you pushing out and you serve it because you definitely are somebody that the Spirit is saying that you are a priestess and you are being called to step up and lead. Yes. Thank you, Spirit. We got some, uh, we talked about lineage. We've been talking about that today. Yes. We've been talking about lineage. So we got some ancient ancestor angel oracle here. Yes. Do you want this? This? No. It's just energy. It's high energy. I have to ask because the energy is so strong, y'all. Is 
set it. Is it the right way? Is that it? Which way do we read, Father? First, we have the oracle. Wait for important information. So, loving people or loving space, people who are hurting. So whoever you are, we there's something in this community dynamic again. The reminder of loving it, rem, the reminder of keeping yourself in a loving space and around people who are loving to you. Spirit says there's going to be more information about those who are around you that are hurting that are causing distress, I hear. Is that right? Distress, yes. Father said it will. you will have time to reflect. Take time to reflect. Taking time to reflect, Father is coupling with the nurture. So as you reflect in this situation, you're going to need to nurture you may need to pull your energy back into self and make sure that you are nourishing you. Okay? Father says to see beyond the current situation. Again, coupled with this high priestess card, what you may be going through, again, could be bringing you into an awareness. It could be giving you source material to do this. Is that right? I feel pressure. The conflict, heaven coming to earth to rise so that they can see beyond their current state and rise above. Is that it? The ascension for the sake of ascension? See beyond the current, see beyond the now. To rise above the now, to rise above the now. Yes, thank you. Yeah, because what's the next card? See from a higher perspective, to, hot, to rise above the now, to rise above it. And Spirit says the next one here is to take notes of your intuitive messages. Father is talking to you, and it's coupled with this. The Father is talking to you and giving you intuitive messages. And the last set we have is to stay rooted and grounded. Stay rooted, stay grounded. And if you do that, stay rooted and stay grounded, you will see your seeds grow. Stay steadfast, grounded. I'm seeing the three of wands. Steadfast, wait for your ships to come in. Don't move. Be rooted, be grounded, rooted, grounded, Spirit is saying. Be rooted, be grounded. Is there anything else, Father? No. Is there anything else you would like to say to the weed? Is there anything else you would like to say to the weed? 
leave it here. This is where Father brought me. You see, I haven't moved my hand. If you guys can see that. Right here. You have a unique talent, Spirit says. The seventh spiritual law of success is Dharma. Dharma is the Sanskrit word that means purpose in life. We always talk about karma, but we never really talk about dharma, right? Dharma, the law of dharma says that we have taken manifestation. Ooh, come on, heavenly. Father, Russell, your wheat field. Woo, when I say Russell, the wheat field. Y'all, if y'all didn't see last night's episode, I uploaded it in the wee hours of this morning. When I tell you, because that little fur baby honey was running around here with that scrunchie sounding like a herd of horses up in here, and I could not rest. I woke up, and I shot it really late, and I didn't want to stay up another hour to upload it, because it takes quite a few nows. And I was I needed the rest, so I went on the rest, and I said, well, we'll get to it, and, you know, and rising. But the honey was running around here with the scrunchie. I was up well before the wee out before day broke. So we went on ahead and did that since we could not go back. We was woke. We couldn't go back to rest. So we did that. When I say that whole mesh is going back and watch it now, I'm imploring you, it's a long one. Put it on while you're sitting at your desk and you, you know, you got a little bit of a time and you can watch an episode. It's about an hour and 20 minutes. It's a bite. It's a bite. And I'm telling you, we go through texts. We went through three texts and two decks of cards. Okay, we got down in that thing because when we talk about something, we want to we wanna dig it out. We want to root it out. We want to get to an understanding. And then we want to show you where we got it from. Here, this seven laws of spiritual success. Again, Deepak Chopra. Okay, the one we read from last night. Also, the book of secrets, Deepak Chopra. Awesome, awesome philosopher. We also read from the Bhagavad Gita, and we backed that up with our other foundational text, which is the King James Version of the Christian Bible. Okay, so we went through three different levels of text that's reaffirming the same word, okay? And then we can see how that word is all over creation. It is the same. And then we can see how the cards, the spirit that flows through me, that allows me to sit here and talk to you, yes, and bring these here messages from the spirit, came through and affirmed the same thing in the cards, beloved, it's the same thing. So when I say to you that the Most High God is saying to somebody out there that you are called, you are a high priestess, you are to step up and to lead, and there is something going on in your energy, beloved, something that's going on with some people that's around you that's causing you hurt and distress, and you are going to get some information about these folks so you know how to move around, so you know how to nurture yourself, beloved, you know how to nurture yourself, you need to take time to reflect, you going to sit back and you're going to pull back into that energy and see what it is that's coming after you that's, that is around you. Again, tears and wheat, beloved, wheat and tears. We need to see what's coming at us so you know how to move around, how you need to operate around this here thing. And this is what the Spirit is saying to you. The Spirit of the Lord, the source of all, is saying to you, beloved, take time to reflect so you can see beyond your current situation. You can see that thing from a higher perspective. You can see how you're supposed to move around and you take note of what the spirit is saying to you because a father says trust in the unknown and take note of those intuitive messages you are being given something you are your intuition is getting downloads you're getting something coming in here but you are you got to be able to take note of it yes stay rooted and stay grounded father says stay rooted stay grounded in your knowingness stay rooted in your knowingness and what you know you know Especially if you are high priestess, you have a knowingness. You have a knowingness. Stay rooted in that. Don't be moved. Do not be moved. Three of wands. Stand there and wait for them ships to come in. You want to know why? Because your seeds will grow. 
You will see it. What do we say? Ty Tribbett. I'm going to praise him anyhow. Hallelujah. Anyhow. Hallelujah. Anyhow. What do he say? The storm is here, but I'm asleep on the boat. Whoa. Everything I went knew. What do he say? I was stressed. You no, know, everything I went through, I know I will be blessed. Yes. The source has brought me out so many times while I stress. Yes. I see the mark anyhow, so I press. I'm going to sing hallelujah anyhow through the test. Stay rooted. Stay grounded. What you water, you water them seeds, they will grow. Even if you water them with tears. Even if the water that you're putting on your seeds is tears. So in tears, what you water will grow. The, whew, the law of Dharma says that we have taken manifestation in physical form to fulfill a purpose. I got to finish that thought because I did a squirrel. I just realized I did a squirrel. That message we read last night talked about the source of all, the Most High God that potentiates itself all over creation and manifestation simply to fulfill itself, to, to expand itself. So you, being a piece of source, beloved, you, piece of source, we talked about how you are pure potentiality, a piece of consciousness made by the infinite intelligence of the creator itself. So the creator, our God, has intelligence. Of course it does. I mean, it knows all. And it used its intelligence to make you. That principal thing, yeah, that's what chapter 8 in Proverbs said. That's that one, Genesis 1 and 26, and it said, let us make man and make them male and female. Yeah, were we called at the same time? Them poles we just talked about. Yeah, I mean, flow with your girl, okay? You were made. You were made to be consciousness, to potentiate your potential, to manifest your potential, to bring it out, to bring it about, to have it come from the spirit into the physical. To bring heaven here to earth. To act out heaven on earth. Yes, as heaven has touched down on earth. In the earth, earthly vessel. Heaven is in earth. My spiritual essence is in the kingdom. It is in earth. And I have a duality. And because I am spiritual and physical dual, I have to come to balance with that thing. And when I come to balance with that and my environment and all the other actors in my life, every other piece of manifestation that is journeying and acting out their manifestation, we collide. We come into collaboration. We are connected. And the source is potentiating itself through you, through me, through everyone and every variety of possibility that could ever potentiate now. All happening now. So when we say that huh, the law of Dharma says that we have taken manifestation and physical form to fulfill a purpose. Huh? What was that purpose? Pray tell. Come on, Father. Wake up your wheat field today and tell them that heaven touched earth. Where is heaven? Heaven came from earth. Heaven, heaven, heaven is in the earth. It didn't come from earth. Yeah, but you know what I'm saying. We get hype. Go with me. Heaven down in your earth, your earthly vessel on this plane and earth. Come on now. Whichever way you want to slice it. Heaven has come to earth. We ain't waiting for heaven to get here. Heaven is here. Y'all you know I mean? Heaven is here. Already. The Father is here. Already. The Father is everywhere. Already. Can we see him? Can we hear him? Can we recognize that you are a piece of the source, beloved? Yes, I see you as source. I see source everywhere. And I have a reverence and a respect for the source. Yes. Because it has taken physical form to fulfill a purpose. That for which the Father sent it, it shall perform. That which the Father sent it. And to align ourselves with the Father's will, huh, puts you in your dharma. You in your purpose now. Oh yeah. When 
divine will, this pseudo self, comes in alignment with the will of the Father, the peace of heaven that dropped down on earth to come and do a thing. Huh. And when your mind state pseudo self come in alignment with your spiritual essence, the heaven, the God that is in you, the source that lives in this kingdom, huh? The field of pure potentiality is divinity in its essence. Divinity. And the divine takes human form to fulfill a purpose. Come on, Father, and talk to your wheat field. I told you we'd be up before all them alarms. Oh, yeah, we get to going. We hitting up. The field of pure potentiality is divinity in its essence. And the divine takes human form to fulfill a purpose. According to this law, you have a unique talent. That's what the Father put my finger at on. You have a... Why? Why do you have a unique talent, beloved? Because of here. Okay? Priestess, how are you being called to step up and lead? I don't want to beat y'all down with it. I know I'm excited. I get excited. When when the Spirit come through and do it like that, I get excited. I, don't, I do want to beat them down with it. Yeah, because I want them to get it. But you know, I really don't. Because then you might push them away. You know, repel, repel. I want you to come closer. Come closer, beloved. Come in. Come in and set for a spell. Come on. Come on. According to this law, you have a unique talent and a u unique way of expressing it. Yeah, yeah. There is something that you can do better than anyone else in the whole world. And for every unique talent and unique expression of that talent, there are also unique needs. When these needs are matched with the creative expression of your talent, that is the spark that creates affluence. Ooh, I think everybody be out here trying to figure out how they going to get the bread. They be wanting the power. They be wanting all this stuff. And I believe that King James book down there that we put it away, yes, down there now, says that uh, to seek the kingdom of the Lord. And if you do that, all things shall be added unto you like everything you ever wanted was in the kingdom. It is. And how affluent would you be to realize that you are a piece of the source like creation itself? Ah! Would you need to feel the need to express or impose your will or your power onto any other piece of creation or piece of the source? Probably not. You probably want to come to balance with that thing. Because to come to balance with other pieces of source is to come to balance with you, beloved. The truth reveals that if I am in balance with myself and everything around me, I am in balance. If I'm just off to me and I'm out of balance with everything around me, then that's not really balance. Because again, we are dual, heaven and earth, but we are also remembering that earth came from heaven too. It did. It came from our heavenly source. We walking on creation. We walking on the source. But we don't see it. We don't. Because we don't see source everywhere. In everything. So not only am I on the outside. I'm on the inside. I am in everything. In every way. Expressing your talents to fulfill your needs. Creates unlimited wealth. And abundance. Expressing your talents. Your unique self to just be your fullness, your full you, to be you in your fullness, to dig into that, to potentiate it, to manifest it, is why we're here. And doing that, because that's the work of the kingdom, to do that, not only fulfills all your needs, but it creates affluence and abundance. Why? Because honestly, you already know how to be great. You do, beloved, you do. What's missing? Ah, yeah, pretty much. Ah. What did I just say? Y'all see that? The inside out approach. The 
inside out because everything starts on the inside. Didn't I say we use text to show this thing approved? Yeah. And the first one that I flipped to in spirit just took me right back. The impact of focused attention. You already know how to be great, beloved, because your collective consciousness says you do. That everything that there is to know, to be known in this now, is here now. And you have the ability to tap in to any and everything that you want to know and have it revealed onto you. When you go into the kingdom and you start seeking questions of self, questioning self, even if you can't grasp what I'm saying, like, or just don't get down with that, like going to the kingdom and all this stuff, what is she talking about, like all this, la, la, la. No, just go into the fact of uh, questioning self, empowering questions. Make a list of stuff you want to know and just ask yourself. Go into meditation and, 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 and ask. Drop the question into the space of meditation and see does the universe respond to you with answers. You will start to see ads and billboards and people will come around you and videos will come through your feed and everything for that thing. And you tell me if you try it, try it. And see, do you not see it? Again, anything that you put your attention and your focus on, it comes to you. It reveals itself. Because it's already here. You just haven't focused on it. You haven't called it into you. You are not attracting it. When you attract it, it will come to you, beloved. It will. And the only thing you need to do to attract it is put your pure, potentiated consciousness on it. Your attention. That's it. That's it, beloveds. That's it. I hope y'all enjoyed this session. We made it a whole hour. I didn't think we would. I told y'all sometimes we get to cooking, we get to going. Because we like to get deep off into this thing so we can really dig this stuff out. You know, this is not the uh, Twin Flame show where we just do pull a couple love cards and, you know, toss that to the side. Not to say nothing against none of them because it's useful. I mean, people see it all the time. But this is just something a little bit different. You know, I want to be edifying. Edifying onto self and edifying onto source. And then edifying onto you all and so that you can edify source. And when we come together in unity because we really are unity, like just be aware that we are consciously connected. That awareness is powerful, beloved. It's powerful. And we can start moving this thing into the, the changing the energy raising our vibrations up yes so that we can come together to do what pray tell edify the source of it all our creator because each of us are pieces of creation and we all have experiences and the source experiences through our experience so what are we experiencing that's good for source are we tapping into that spirit of joy and saying, hey, you know, what is it that you would like to do? Can you trust that, you know? Yeah. Tapping into self and questioning. When you hear answers back from you, can you trust that? And if you are not able to trust self, then I would recommend more meditation so that you can quiet the chaos and the noise that's around you. Yeah, I know something happened. Chaos in, around you. Be brave and be honest. That sword is like the sword of truth. Again, be open to healing information. Be honest. Be truth. You may come to face some things about self that are hard to face. And we all do. We all do. True self-reflection is not real if you don't run across something that you don't like about you. Something that you feel could be changed, that could be improved, that could be better. Because we all are here to grow and we all are here to learn. So if you are feeling and you are complacent, like I don't have, I don't need to grow, I don't need to change anything. I would recommend that you meditate and really take a real honest inventory of, of, of your experience. Of what's being said to you from your true space, from your spiritual essence. I bet there is an opposing sentiment there that's calling you to your highest good. That's asking you to raise that. That's prompting you, nudging you. 
or maybe you've been running from that voice so long that it's hard to hear it. But even still, when you quiet your mind, you will hear it. Will you not, Father? Yeah, you'll hear it. We recommend that we pray upon resurrection. The top of the day. It's, yeah, top of the day. Midway between the afternoon and sundown. And at sundown. Is what Father said to me. In terms of meditation. But anytime you have a moment to just go ahead and, and, and clear your mind and get in touch with the spirit, then, uh, yeah, it will ignite your passion. It will. It'll show it to you. This one. You will see that you are not alone. You're not. You're not alone. That spirit is in there guiding you. It's guiding you. And it's going to tell you this, to trust. Trust your talents in these changing times. Again, we read in the book that seven spiritual law, you have a unique talent. The high priestess card came out to say that you are special. You are called. High priestess has a knowingness, awareness. You know, they have access. Access. Set your sights higher. I don't know where you're looking at, beloved, but source says set your sights higher. Okay? Because maybe some of those people that's around you that's not treating you so great, you know, maybe they are pulling you, you know, to a place or keeping you beholden to a place that's just not your true position. And maybe um, that strife and conflict that's going on that I feel when Spirit says that you're going to get some more information to tell you about who and what is going on, then you uh, will use that source material for your calling. Because, again, everything works towards the good. And that's why we get back to, thank you, Spirit. Oh, I just love how Spirit do that and just bring it right on back around. Right on back around. That's why we had that Thai tribute. I'm going to sing hallelujah anyhow. Hallelujah anyhow. Hallelujah anyhow. Mm -hmm. I hope y'all enjoyed this episode. I really do. We got a new desk coming soon, y'all, so we won't be on our little bitty table no more looking like a, a giant in this little, you know. But we're growing in our current situation. Yeah, we are. You know, because sometimes you just have to get started. You just have to start. And you will see how everything will just come on in, okay? So I hope y'all stay through the whole thing. And if you vibe, please do subscribe. And if you care about these types of messages and other people who may need them, please share them out. Share them out. And if you want to come in and be ready for the next bell, go ahead and hit that bell, too. It'll give you a notification for when we put these up. You know, because we don't do nothing but sit around and chop it up. That's what we do. Try to knock some of the stuff down that's been built up in us for a very long time and get that out so we can get these engines and chakras, these energy centers in alignment so that we can, uh, yeah, move creation forward. Okay? So until the next time on the Tears and We Throw Show with your girl, Lati, I want to tell you that I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you so much. I love you. And I love you just like I love me. Why do I love you like I love me? Because I love the source. And you, beloved, are a piece of the source. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. And I love that. I love the principal thing, wisdom, the infinite intelligence that called us all. Yes, I love that. I love the breath of life. Who that flow. Yes. I love that. Remember to breathe on this day. 60 seconds here and there. Just take a minute out. We have water reminders. Get some breathing reminders. Do some deep breaths. You know, four, five of them. Clean, good air. Yes. Till the next time, y'all. Till the next now. Ashe. Mmm.